Today I'm going to be talking to you about children with behavioral challenges and why it might be time for you to change your perspective. Let's start by exploring what challenging behaviors might look like. While these behaviors may vary, some common things you may look for are tantrums that are longer in duration or occurring more frequently, oppositional behaviors, kids that are easily frustrated, and poor responses to discipline. This could be getting really angry or not responding at all. Sometimes when we see behaviors like this, we jump to conclusions. You may think, wow, this kid is really spoiled, or his parents must not have disciplined him very well, or maybe even she must always get her own way. Or maybe you're on the other side of things and you're thinking, he's just a kid. All kids get like this sometimes. Instead of jumping to conclusions or making automatic judgments about the behaviors you're seeing, I'd like to encourage you to ask the question, could there be another reason this child is acting this way? Sometimes when children have behavioral difficulties, they also have other difficulties. For example, difficulties with self-regulation, receptive language, expressive language, executive functions, emotional control, social interactions, or planning and sequencing tasks. Let's take a look at one of these examples and analyze it further. Imagine what it would be like to not be able to express your wants, needs, and feelings verbally. It would probably be very frustrating, and you'd likely resort to expressing your needs in another way. For children, throwing a tantrum is a pretty quick way of telling us that their needs aren't being met, and it's also an easy way for them to relieve some of that frustration. I'm not suggesting that you should condone this type of behavior, but if you change your perspective from this is a bad kid to understanding that the child may be having difficulties with other things, then you may be able to come up with some productive solutions to the problem. In the case of the child with expressive language difficulties, he may require additional supports in order to improve his expressive language abilities. In the meantime, you could give him other ways to communicate his wants and needs in non-disruptive ways. When the child communicates their wants in a productive way, you would want to reinforce that. You could also ensure the child had ways to express their emotional energies in ways that wouldn't disrupt others. The strategies that you use will depend on the child and the situation. But some common strategies to reduce challenging behaviors include changing the environment, responding calmly, teaching alternative behaviors, offering choices, being consistent, praising positive behavior, using simple language, removing or reducing barriers, knowing the child's motivators, using appropriate tone and volume, and teaching boundaries. If behaviors persist, it may be beneficial to seek professional help. Depending on the behaviors, psychologists, speech language pathologists, and occupational therapists may be involved. I hope this video has given you a new perspective on children with challenging behaviors.